Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm super excited with this one today because it's one of those that it's important uh, in a lot of different contexts um, and it's going to show up just, it could show up just like this on your GED test and it's easier than it looks. Hallelujah. We like it when algebra is easier than it looks. Uh, so let's take a gander here. It says match each phrase to the appropriate inequality. So what you're going to notice here is I have some phrases on the left. I have some English, uh, in this case, sentences, and they want me to match those uh, phrases or sentences to the inequality on the right. So you might be saying, Kate, I don't know what the heck an inequality is. I think you might actually, but let's just start with that. An inequality is really similar to an equation. We see these two expressions, but in an equation, the two at least two expressions are set equal to each other. In an inequality, instead of seeing an equal sign, we see an inequality sign. So we have a few different inequality signs. Uh, we have the uh, less than sign, the greater than sign, the less than or equal to sign, and the greater than or equal to sign. Now, I know a lot of you guys um, struggle with naming off which one is less than and which one's greater than. You mix up your inequality signs. And your third grade teachers had this lovely trick that they probably taught you about the uh, alligator, you know, eating the larger number, which I think is a super useful thing. It helps you remember when you're in third grade. But we do need to graduate to this um, direct translation level by the time we reach high school where we can just read these things uh, because you won't, it won't always be clear which side's larger in algebra. So you better know uh, what the symbol is trying to tell you. That being said, if you are the student who mixes it up, I've got a way to understand it that'll help us a little more than alligators. So remember a number line. Uh, I know uh, you've seen number lines before. If you haven't, you need them. They come up on the GED. Well, on a number line, uh, as you go off to the left, your numbers become smaller. They become less. And you can see the arrow on the end of the number line looks identical to the less than symbol. Yeah, it was no coincidence <laughs> that that's the symbol for less than. We pull it off of that uh, number line, okay? So same thing if you're on the right-hand side here. See how it's pointing off to the right? That's where my numbers get greater, bigger. They get larger as I go off to the right. So this is the greater than symbol. They come off the number line. So if you're struggling to remember which one's less than and which one's greater than, my advice to you, draw a number line, okay? So. Good, now that we got that, let's go ahead and match each phrase to the appropriate inequality. Okay, so A says three less than a number X is more than 15. So we just said that this side, whatever it is, is more than, is more than, I'll need a greater than symbol. 15, well that part of the inequality was easy. Now let's try to write the rest of it. I want three less than a number X. Now be careful. This is what most students do. They go, oh, three less than a number X. And I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> if you wanted three less than a number X, you would have to start with X. Start with X and take three away from it. So I'd have to start with x and take three away from it. So three less than a number x, x minus three, is more than, and you might be like, Kate, how come once with less than we use subtract and once with it we use, when we had more than, we use that inequality symbol. See that is more than? Verbs, the verb is, is a really big clue that this is where your equal sign or your um, inequality symbol is going. Um, verbs, in math are what tell me that I have a full-on uh, inequality or equation rather than just an expression. So it was that is that signaled me that I needed the um, inequality symbol. So three less than X is greater than 15. Uh, a matches with three. Okay. 
Now let's go into B. It says a number X, easy, minus three, easy, that's easy to direct translate, is less than, so is less than, there's that sign that I need my inequality symbol, is less than, there's my less than, 15. So what did I do wrong? I'm looking to the right hand side and I don't see, oh, I didn't read my full sentence. Oh, I hope you guys caught me there. Notice what it says. It doesn't just say is less than, does it? It says is less than or equal to, there's more than one option. So that inequality symbol needs to be a less than or equal to. It needs to have that little equal line underneath. And now I got it right. Okay. So a number X minus three is less than or equal to 15. B is four. Okay. Let's look at C. It says three more than a number X. Three more than a number X means I should start with X and add three onto it. Get three more than a number X. And I see that that is less than, there's my inequality symbol, is less than 15. And I definitely don't have an equal or equal to this time. So I know my inequality symbol is right. So X plus three is less than 15. C matches with I. Okay, so D better match with uh, II or two <laughs> in Roman numerals. Let's take a look. A number X, a number X plus three, plus three is more than or equal to, greater than or equal to 15. And does that match with two? It sure does. Great, so A is three. B is four, C is one, and D was two. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.